Not just on how everybody else can, That's but like they should be able to communicate to you in a certain way that nobody else can. And you'll know like if you have previous relationships and you finally like found that one person that's for you like look how they speak to you like what are they doing that has caused like a different reaction from everybody else mm. so like like if you find somebody who's always into it with everybody maybe um like they have a history of like arguments and mm. and fighting calling each other names or like cheating but then like you get with that person or he gets with you and he's not the same anymore like he's changed mm-hmm. like he's no longer doing the same things he was doing saying the same things he was saying it's like you've changed him but overall like you'll know you found the right person if they can speak to you differently yeah um I, I agree with what you're saying about um how they speak to you Mm-hmm. Um, I, I don't think you can change a man, uh, not, nor do I think you can change, um, I don't think you can change anybody, right? I, I, I don't, I think, I think people are just instinctively people, instinctively people, mm-hmm. um, and I think we're all going to be flawed, right? Um, but how you deal with your flaw, I think, speaks to maturity, Mm-hmm. Right. When when um, uh, what is it? Verse 19. It says, uh, and out of the ground, the Lord God formed every beast of the field. All right. Every beast of the field. He formed them from the ground. All right. But when it came to man, he created man from the dust of the ground. All right. Um, how he deals with you depends on how he's made in his core. If, if he's acting like just the dirt of the ground, that there's some things you should consider about him that, that he's hiding from everybody else. If, if, if you are dirty, then there's some stuff on the inside that you can't change. See, you, you can pretend, but only for so long. But at some point in time, the truth of who you are really is going to come out. So that they can make him um, filter their words with you. They make him fool you. My my mama used to tell me, Jeremiah, you, you can fool some of the people some of the time, but you can't fool all of the people all of the time. At every point in your life, you're going to face a point where I have to be real one with me. And being real with me is not letting anybody else lie to me. And, and so I ask real things, trying to get real answers because you can only pretend for so long. If they are the dust of the ground, then their thinking is higher. The, um, the, the way he treats you, responds to you, the way, the, the way he opens the door for you, the way he talks about you in private when you're not around is going to be more elevated because he's created from the dust of the ground. But uh, animals... Animals are created from the dirt. See, here's the defining between the two. Is that if everything bothers you, it's too heavy on you, mm-hmm. then you may not be the person for me. Mm-hmm. If, if everything offends you, then you may be a little bit too heavy for me. You, you, you got to know that God pulls you not to be like them, but be different than them. I, I, I wanted somebody different. I, I, I didn't want the same. And then God will grant you just what you're asking for. But it required Adam to be elevated in his mental first. You'll never get it. The right one, the wrong one. You you only come across the wrong one when you're dragging the ground. You see, when when you lift your standards a little bit, then then it's harder to breathe up here. But but this is where you catch, I think, uh, purer things. It says that from... The ground, he formed animals and gave Adam the task of naming them. All right. Next question is, um, when do you know that it's time for a relationship? When? When? So it's like, um, another question I'm thinking, make sure. So it's like, when do you know, like, okay, when do you know you're ready be in a relationship. Yeah, that's what we're gonna reword that they can't type over here. <laughs> um when do you know you're when do you know you're ready to be in a relationship? 
how do you know you're ready? Mm-hmm. How and when? Who tells you that, that you're ready? That's what I want to know. Who, <laughs> who, who over is, is it your mama in the background telling you you ain't ready for no man? That, that may be the problem right, right there. <laughs> It, 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 it may be the mama that's the problem. Um, or you could just have a son like Jaden who just keeps coming out the room and down the stairs and want to eat some strange things. He, here's how you know, for me, when you're ready for a relationship. Um, and I'm just going to work the text from verse to verse. And so it's, it's, it's going to have to line up this particular way. It says, uh, and Adam gave names to all the cattle and to the fowl of the air, and to every beast of the field. But Adam, for him, there was not found a help me. Here's how you, good God, that's good. Here's how you know when you're ready for a relationship. God ain't nothing out here for me. Mm. Ain't, ain't, ain't nothing. I, 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 know, I know what it looks like. I know it looks good. I, I, I know they shaped right. But see, if, if you're not on my same caliber, then we, we, we cannot calibrate. The, we, we can't, you, you can't collab with everybody. You hear me? And, and, so, and so you'll know when you're ready for the right one when just anyone won't do. Yeah. My answer is going to be, you know that you're ready Bobby. when like Bobby. you've had time, like especially Bobby. if you come out of a previous relationship, Bobby. like you've had that time to like yeah. actually oh. heal, yeah. you know, from the past. Yeah. Like there's a, I've seen like plenty of people who would get into like a relationship as soon as they got out of the one they was in, right. and it's like they end up bringing everything from the past relationship to that current one that they're in. So it's like you know you're ready when you've had time to deal with like the past past oh, issues from a previous oh. relationship. Like actually take time to deal with that and be okay with like being alone. Like, you know you're ready when you've had that time. Mm-hmm. Like, the long time is what's going to make you find out more about you. Yeah. So you'll know what you want in the next relationship, what you'll tolerate, what your expectations are, and your standards. When you've had time to deal and heal. Mm-hmm. Deal and heal. If you yeah. haven't dealed and healed, you can't go to the next relationship because right. you'll just be toxic. Mm. They won't even be doing nothing, but because he looked the way the last person did, you ready to go upside his head. Mm. Here. That's good. That's good. I said God um God put the man in the garden and gave him a task. I want you to name the animals. Alright. I want you to name them. Um and he says, These are fowls of the air, these are beasts of the field. Uh goes down a list what the name is. But but notice when he gets to Eve, he isn't given a task of naming her. He has to call her. Right. Um, earlier, uh, what you said made me think of of this. Um, what is he naming? But's required for him to call. See, you 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 can't allow everybody to speak to you any kind of way, calling you names. And so, a sign for me that I'm either with the right one or the wrong one is that if they are calling me names. Or if they're able to identify with the calling over my life. Yeah. If, if everybody can't handle the weight of the way that you come. Because they, they, they want to put a name on you. A, a, attach a job to you. They, they want to uh, be like you work here. And so you're this. See those, those are names. But when you can identify that God called her to be a wife and a mother. That, that, that you, you don't just talk to her any kind of way. Because she has a calling over her life. When, when you can look at the boy and see the man inside of him, that he is greater to be the king that God created him to be, you're not calling him names, but you're calling him what God created for him to be. I'm, I'm, I'm looking for something that's deeper than surface so names won't do for me. I need you to identify, can you call me by what God called me to be? It says that he named the animals but when it came to her, he called her. There's a difference between the two. And I think until you can see that I'm not just with him uh, to nag him, but here to support him. I think un- until he matures to the point where he's able to say that I can't just call her any kind of name. Yeah. 
other than what God purposed for her, put the calling over her. There's greater assignment in her than just being somebody's bad word. I don't call her names. I don't call her by what God set for her to be. Yeah, yeah. Can, can, can you speak to her like she's the wife? Can, can you speak to her not just around other folk that she's the queen, but, but when y'all are home alone, when, 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 when you're annoyed and irritated, what comes out of your mouth? Are you identifying with the calling that's on her? Are you calling her names? Um, like, like, like you mad at her, like, like she wanted them animals out there. You, you know what I mean? Like this, that, that, that speaks to, to what you said, um, how he speaks to you, but can can he identify with the calling that's, that's on you? All right. Um, next question is, um, how do you tell, um, how do you tell the man? I'm, I'm going I'm to flip that. How do you tell the man that you're ready if he hasn't asked you to date? Right? Like, how, how do you let him know that that is that a book bag? That I, don't, I don't know why you would do that. <laughs> how, how do you, if, if, if you're in a relationship with a man, right? How, how do you tell him if he hasn't asked you yet that you're ready for him to ask? Let you, you answer that. Yes. Say then. I honestly do not know the answer because I haven't. I haven't been put in that situation. Because I think you asked. Like I don't know. Like I really don't know. Like what I would say. Other than like just asking. Like, what's the hold up? Why haven't you asked me to be official yet? Right, right. I mean, but that's that's easy said. While you're in a relationship, I just ask. Mm -hmm. But but for the first six months that we were dating, you you said three words. Um. No. Okay, four. <laughs> oh no. And and like it, it becomes harder, right, when you're in it. Because you, you don't want to seem, especially for, for, for a female, you don't want to seem like pushy. Yeah. Right? You don't want to seem like, you know, you're trying to force him to do something. So how do you tell, let him know that you're ready, but he hasn't asked you? I mean, other than asking, like, he's a hint around. Maybe, like, ask him some questions that will lead up to it to see, like, what he'll say about it. Hmm. So, so, like, how do you feel about or what do you think of? Or do you want yeah. more? Okay, okay, okay. And then okay. like his response, that'll tell you like your answer. So it's like you're talking to somebody mm -hmm. and you don't want to let them know that you want a child. So you ask them like, how do you feel about kids? And if he'd be like, I love them. Then it's like, okay, let's hope. How how do you love them? Do, do, <laughs> do you love them like their kids, or do you love them in this weird way? How 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 do you love kids? Do you have kids? Do you get to see your kids, or are your kids involved in your life? But see, but that's on a, a different tangent on stuff that you need to ask before you date. This is the preset. I need to know these things. I'm I'm not concerned about what kind of car you drive, how you paying for it, how 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 is your credit. I, I I need to know like the background stuff because before you get to explore somebody's body, explore. It, it ex explore their payment history. You you you, you got to have good credit and good grace, um, and 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 we need to surf deeper than what's your favorite color. No. Um, I need to know the contents of your heart. T tell me um, how you feel about politics. You you know I mean th this stuff this stuff seems like. Um, Right, it it seems like well you don't need to know all that, but like if you're giving away your body and you don't know what their social security number is, debate what's my social security number? I and can't say that out loud, but with, I know it. And if you don't, here's what I'm saying: it's like it has to be deeper than surface, right? So, so it, that way, before they walk away or leave, they think in their mind, "I have too much invested." Yeah. Right. Yeah. You 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 be leaving something that's like 
that damn girl right there, man. If if <laughs> I, I can't because she she has everything. Yeah. Um. Yeah. All right. Um. Next question. Um. Oh 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 oh! I didn't I didn't answer. Um. How do you let him know? Um. What what was it? Um. Earlier. Oh. Uh. Move out the way. Step aside. Step aside. Get out. Get out the way. Um. It said, um, uh, verse 21, and the Lord God caused a deep sleep to, <laughs> a deep sleep to fall upon Adam and he slept and he took his rib and closed it up with flesh instead. He, he, here's how you let him know. S step aside. I, I, I wanted to change that to like, um, uh, don't let him sleep on you, but, um, <laughs> I think for somebody to identify the real worth that you have, I think a lot of the times you have to uh, be slept on uh, for them to see not to sleep on you. Oh, you have to let them see it for themselves. Yeah, because you, you can't... Like you can talk yourself yeah. up all day, but then the end of the day, if like, you don't see it, you're still not going to see it. Right, Like You right. can tell me all day, or I can tell you all day, I'm so good looking, I'm so pretty, I'm so this. But if you don't see it, then like you're not going to see it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like kind of like early before we started, and I was like, "Oh my face, it looks um slimmer." And the first thing he said was like, "Yeah, I had meant to tell you. I noticed it." And it's like I think she been working out, y'all. No, I'm kind of sort of. But yeah, so it's like you have to step aside so that they can see it. Yeah. Cause you can hype yourself up all day, but then the if they don't see it. And, and then, you, you know, you, you don't do it for them. You, you got to know that there's value found in you. It says that Adam went to sleep, but it never said that Eve took a nap. Mm -hmm. you, you keep working on you as God is revealing to him who you are. See, there, there, there are some folk that want to be entered into your life, but, but they don't see the value in you. And, and so the thing about God will remove you just for a season. For, for them who's been sleeping on you to wake up to you. Yep. See, if, if everybody who comes in, in your group or around you or want to connect to you uh, have not earned the, the, um, the, the status of being connected to you. And so God will move you for everybody who sleeps to wake up. What am I talking about? I'm, I'm, I'm saying that, that if, if you are who he needs, then he'll feel it when he sleeps. You you don't you don't believe that you you ever been in love with somebody, and they left for a trip, or they go to the store, mm -hmm. or, or you you can't stop thinking about them. I, I'm not talking about like fifth grade. I'm, I'm 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 talking about to the point where 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 like I'm concerned about if you're safe, if you're secure. I'm I'm talking about not only for the female but for men. Is that like my number one assignment and goal is to make sure. Uh, as Ply said, I, I need to, I need to make sure that home is straight mm -hmm. Be, before I do anything else. It's, it's like, it's like it has to hurt your heart, mm -hmm. and I know that because God took the real away. When when she walks out the door, when, when we're upset, I, I can't go to sleep because it hurts my heart. It says that God put him to sleep, know you have the right took one. the real. That that's how you know if if it's heavy on your chest. Does it bother you that she's speaking to you? Yeah. That, that, uh, if, if you can just sleep comfortably, n knowing that I'm upset or sad, then I, I, I got I, I to gotta ask some, some. But if you, if you can't rest because it seems like you're broken, yeah. it seems like there's a part of you that's missing. And then I think one of the other identifiers is, is that... Um, not only does it hurt you if she's mad at you, it hurts you the idea of him or her being upset with you. Mm -hmm. to, to lose you would be to lose a part of me. And, and so I, I know that God put him there, put him to sleep for him to be able to identify something's missing. If, if you can be gone or not called for weeks, if if you if you you you, you can just uh, start flirting and 
talking to anybody in front. And I don't say now you you I'm, I'm talking about that he has to lay down and feel it. That's that's what the book say. Said that God put him to sleep, took a rib from him. He took it from him. Do you feel that she's there or not there? Do, do you care if he's gone for three, four weeks or not? It, it should bother you not being on the same page, right? Um, and then he wakes up. And when he wakes up, there's something standing in front of him that looks like him, but it's different than him. All right. All right, babe, what's the next question? Hey, Nia. Hey, so girl. next question is, hey, girl. when do you know that it's the right time? The right time for what? Stop, stop it, stop it, stop it. Oh. <laughs> like he said he closed his ears. Stop it. We're not, yeah. we're not talking about debt. We're not talking about debt. <laughs> how, how do you, when, when is it okay to to give your body? Oh yeah, just take it. Um, <laughs> I, I I think sex is important to um, a marriage to a successful to a successful marriage. I think it's important to a relationship. Now you define whenever um, you know you decide to. I ain't, I ain't gonna speak about that. Um, I, I I think Make your choice. Um, I, I think the commitment of being with somebody um, is enough, but that's just my view. Um, I, I think when you're committed, um, I would rather have the true commitment than a certificate. Yeah. But but that's just me. You know, you you do what you want to do. Um, as far as this aspect to answer the question, um, when is it's the right time. Mm -hmm. All right. What what verse were we at? We were at... 22. Yep. And Adam said, This is now bones of my bones and flesh of my flesh. Mm -mm -mm. Oh, 22. it's 22. Yeah. Sorry, y'all. It says, And the rib which the Lord God had taken from man made he a woman and brought her unto the man. Okay. You're right. Because we're going verse by verse, I'm going to make this. We're going to shift this, right? All right. Here's when you know uh, that this is the right one who's earned your body in, in sex, okay? Be it for the man to the woman, the woman to the man. Because I think so many times we give up our body to people who have not earned the privilege of laying in our bed, all right? Uh, nor earned um, your performance because right. some of y'all be putting on shows. They have whole websites for that. Um, it, it no no. I'm talking about free oh. stuff. Oh, no. um, not that I know OnlyFans isn't free. I don't know about that site. Um, and the real it says the Lord God took from man, made woman, and brought her unto him. All right. Here's what I'm going to do with this one. Let's make real personal. All right. Mm -hmm. I know that it's time when you can turn down what's being offered to you and wait for what God brought to you. That's real. When, when she has the standard of 10 weeks, I'm just, you know, throwing that out there. <laughs> if she has a standard of 10 weeks, can you wait? And don't bone or rib or like, you, you know, with, with everything else. Can you not go back fishing in the sea? Can you not have sex with anybody? Can you stay um, celibate or monogamous, whatever it is, um, until you fulfill what God brought to you? That there's some stuff that, that you haven't earned yet. And, and, and just because... They give you their time does not mean you've earned their body. Right. You, you, you can't pay for a meal and then bought sex, too. It, it don't it don't work like that. Not in the um, adult mature world is it's, it's that. Yeah. 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 You you pay to play, you know, in, in a sense. But but what you've paid for for the meal is that the currency is not the same for the body. Mm -hmm. 
he, he's feeding the body, but, but time will feed the mind. Here's how you know when you're ready, when you don't have to ask things like that. Yeah. It, it'll come natural. It says God brought it to him. He, he, didn't have to, he, he didn't have to pray about it. I'm not saying praying for the spouse is not important. He didn't have to pray about it. He didn't have to go to church and shout about it. He didn't have to sing about it. He, he didn't have to drive up in a nice car to it. He, he didn't have to buy the house um, to appease it. Nor did she have to get dressed in the shortest thing. She, she, she didn't have to do all these extra requirements. God brought it. When it's natural, not forced, right? If, if he has to coerce you into it, maybe that's just the wrong kind of person, right? And you, you, you shouldn't have to beg. Good God, you shouldn't have to beg. Don't, don't, don't be desperate for it, but know that God will bring it. But when do you know it's the right time? When is okay for for the right time to to perform? I feel like it's like what you had said. Um, you know, like you don't have to go begging for it and asking and pleading, and you'll know. But the question is, it's kind of like what you also said. So, like, say if she's like, "Oh, I'm not doing anything for a whole year for us to be together," can you fulfill that? Can you hold out that whole entire year? And you'll know again if he's the one for you because the year go up. He'll be right there waiting. Yeah. I know he can't be that desperate. He's going to wait a whole entire year. But you'll know, though. Yeah. I, I think that's, that's evident sign of, like, of their purest intent. Like if they plan, well, we're we going to be together forever. All right, then, then wait a year. If if we got forever, wait to marriage. What is a year? Yeah, and then too, it's also um. So I plan on them stairs. Like you said, as well, can't really like speak to that to like tell people when they can and shouldn't do it. But the most important thing is that like you're mature about it. You know, like just don't be out here doing it with everybody. Yeah. You know, don't don't do it. With your your body is sacred. Yeah. It's right. a temple, so you have to treat it like one protected. Which takes us to verse 23. It says, And Adam said, This is bone of my bone. This is flesh of my flesh. She shall be called woman, because she was taken out of man. So there is three cameras by the stairs. I can see you. Stop playing on the stairs, please. Um, keeping a physical appearance, hmm. keeping a physical appearance. Um, I can't read what the next one is, but, um, it's about physical appearance. Should physical appearance matter in a relationship? How can you see that? <laughs> I got that good eyesight. I got on my glasses and it's like nothing's there. Um, is physical appearance important when you're in a relationship? Now, this is talking, uh, asking for, I assume, uh, folk who's been in it for years like us. We, we, we too old, but, um, ain't lost it. I still, I still got it. I still got it. Now, sometimes I struggle being the mom. I like to put my bonnet on. I hate that bonnet. I love that bonnet. Every no, time I, say, I throw like, it away, it finds like, its way back over you here. You got all these, like, this particular half day, I'm not trying to come here, but you know, I got my leave out, so I got to preserve that at night so it can look good for you the next day. But um, I think physical appearance does play when you're in a relationship like it should. Like, you look good, great, when we got together, so continue to look great that we are together. Like, yeah. let him see or let her see, like, what she has. Yeah. You know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're not bones. Yeah. Mm. It, it, it all the... All right. Hear, hear, hear me now. <laughs> hear me now. It says, when Adam saw her, he said, bone of my bone, flesh of my flesh. Mm -hmm. To me, here's what he's saying. Damn, girl. 
You you ought to be so attracted to your spouse. Every time you see her, it causes a bone to move. That's that's what the text say. It says that he's not only looking at her j just for the calling that's on her, but it does something to his body. He's able to identify one bone. Uh, apparently wants to connect to one of her bones. <laughs> you 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 cannot get so saved and sedity that you lose your sexiness in a marriage or relationship. Know that the same thing you said that a few weeks back. You've been harping on it for, for weeks now. You said you, you cannot stop doing what you did when you got me to keep me. You you, you gotta know you gotta step the game up. Can can you be saved and sexy? Cause some 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 of y'all can quote scripture, but 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 don't dress like you know anything about 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 being about being a spouse. All right? Can you look like a woman still? Can he look like a man still? Yeah. Right? I'm I'm not talking about a thug. I'm 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 not talking about like a bum. I'm not. Can can you look like the man who first approached her? Can you look like the he, female that he first wanted to? Look like the man from the very first date. I I, I look better than the man on my very first date. I do. Mm -hmm. I do. I look. I look wonderful sometimes, especially in this lighting over there. I'm not so sure. But he, here's what I'm saying though: is that bone of my bone and flesh of my flesh. He says that this is my flesh. You, you, you got to be able to feel it too. That it is not just physical, it's emotional and psychological. Mm -hmm. That is bone deep to me. So I, I need you to be able to see that there's something deeper than, and so is flesh. Now, um, what was the question? Oh, 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 uh, physical appearance. Physical appearance is important. Yeah. Relationship. So to answer your question on a long ride home, yes. 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 And that don't mean you got to walk around in heels and suits all day, but, you know, don't go out in public looking slouchy. You know, like, remember you um, had told me that before, the importance. I don't really want to do it, except for, like, doing pregnant because I was so tired. What's that? Um, on, like, days I would just go out in, like, sweatpants and stuff. Oh, yeah, but I was, yeah. Like, pregnant. Yeah. You yeah, know, we don't like, do really that. I'm feeling it. But, like, it is important. Like, be proud of your partner. Be proud to show them all. Show the world what you yeah. got. And don't let everybody take what you got because it's yours. But yeah, yeah, yeah. He says, bone of my bone. Mm -hmm. Flesh of my well, flesh. It. Which means, I, yeah, I, not, not only am, am I protective, not possessive. Um, not only am I protective, but I match energy. Mm -hmm. it's, it's required that everything standing next to me look like are better than me. So when we step out, this is bone of my bone. We 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 look alike. That's that's what it is. Bones look alike. So we dress alike, we speak alike. So so every place that we go, we're speaking prosperous but never defeat because you speak like me. If every place that we go, we all look to par are better than me because it's flesh of my flesh. It's just like what what was that song? Um um what was that song? Because um, uh, she's just like me. Good God, that was a stretch to get to get that one. Um, is that he, he said? I require it not to just be fine, like not for it to just be uh, an an animal in bed, not for it just to be uh, just anybody who can come to me. I need it to be just like me. Yeah. So it's bone of my bone, flesh of my flesh. Um, and then, but she'll be called woman. Because she was taken out of a man. All right, so physical um, is important, I think, um, that you not only speak the part, but you can look the part too. All right, um, and then I, I just wanted to say something about this last part mm -hmm. uh, because she was taken out of man. All right, Th this sets the standard for the home. All right, when, when you take the woman, you take her as a woman, not a companion to help you pay bills. Oh, yeah. That's good. So, security is what is a man's responsibility. Mm -hmm. 
right? So, so when we're together, you, you got to know that it's required of me to make sure you never come to a place of feeling like a man. That's, that's, that's what it says. It said because she was taken out of man. So all that independence, all, all that one, you, you, you know, I'm, I'm saying for you to feel like you have to do it on your own. You don't, not when you're with a man. So I, I relieve those, those stresses. What, how do you get stuck on a little chair? No, no. Come on. And, and so it's, it, it's not like, um, <laughs> you're doing crazy stuff. It's, it's, it's not to take away your power is to push you into elevation of your power. That that if if I have the man responsibilities down, then then you're able to just be the woman, yeah. the wife, and and the mom. You, you're a, a, able to dream and build those things. You're able to grow in everything that God called from you. You know why? Because you're free. Because you don't have to be carrying the weight of the responsibility of what it is to be a man too. Right, you 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 ever seen those moms who who, who play who play thirteen roles Everybody. and the daddy and the daddy's them. It's 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 ridiculous how 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 we're expected. You act like a, a woman, but have the responsibility of a man. Yep. It says relief of those things. It says because she was taken out of man, not to get with a man and still be a man. Yo. Mm-hmm. Yes, sir. All right, babe. What's the next question? The next question Hi. is. Hi. 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 That one. Hi. Um. All right. Um. We're talking about um parents in laws or in laws. All right. So when you're in a relationship, uh, who comes? Oh, good God. Um, who comes first? Um. Is it the mother or the wife? That's a good one. And is it relationship or marriage? Relationship, kind of like both. Does it matter? No. You you, you want to do relationship, and I'll do marriage, yeah. or vice versa. Whichever one you're comfortable. Whatever one. I'll do marriage. Yeah. And then then they said this is for Brittany. So. No, you do relationship. Do <laughs> your part first. Ah. Okay, um, in a relationship, I think it sets the precedence for what the marriage is going to be. Yeah. If if he cannot define lines between importance in the relationship, don't get married. You 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 gotta know up front what what is it gonna be, brother man. I I I I need to know, sister girl. What 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 is it that you put me in importance in your life? Am, am I just like everybody else, or am I a significant difference? All right, because th- these things, a, a, a marriage only, a commitment only, a, a title only amplifies what was preset before that. If we're dating and he's like cussing you out, wait, wait until you get married. It, it, it don't get better. Um, it's, it's that th- these things only intensify, it amplifies, it only encourages that behavior which was before. Right. If 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 he's putting his mother before, I'm not saying anything is wrong with her being important, but she needs to know the place of the marriage or relationship. Mm -hmm. So I love my mama, love, love my mama. But then at some point in my life that I had to define which comes first, if if it hurts my house. Can, can I take care of mom's house? I, I can't. My responsibility first is to secure home. Right now, that, that don't say I don't love it. That that, that says that I see um, the placement of it. Yeah. Right, it comes second. If if he can't do that, if she can't do that in a relationship, then God help whatever it is when you come to the marriage. Now, I don't mean the first day you date. You know, she she's like I'm gonna put you over. over. Over my daddy and my mom. I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about like when you're really committed, yeah, cons- like know. considering marriage. Like you, you, you know, when it plays part to be important. And it's like going back to, you know, like you shouldn't be in a relationship. I feel like the goal of your relationship is to reach marriage. Mm-hmm. Like you shouldn't just be with somebody just because you pass in time and you think that that's the person that you need to be with for the moment. Like y'all's goal should be marriage. 
So what you said is true. And then it's like when you get to marriage, like you should know like the point of marriage is that y'all are becoming one. Yeah. So if y'all are one, like you mm-hmm. can't put anybody before that because they'll be putting somebody before you because mm. you're one. Good God. Treat me like I'm you. Yeah. And I'll respond to you like I'm you. Yeah. yeah. Like, well, I'll respond to you like it's me. Yeah. yeah. And like it seems selfish, but at the end of the day, like it's not selfish. Well, I don't think there's anything you're, wrong you're married. with being selfish. It's like, how are we going to be married and then here I go put my daddy over you or yeah. my mama? Yeah. But we're married. Right. Right. Mm-hmm. And I, I know so many people that do that. And I can't really pick a sex because... Stop it. Jesus Christ. I, I know so many people who do that, that, that. That they put the relationship of a parent over the relationship or the partnership of their spouse. And, and, and here's where that fits into, um, in, in, into life. It doesn't. As it says that for this shall a man leave his mother and his father, right? And should be joined to his wife and they'll become one. Not two in the same household, not, not two in one car. They'll become one, right? So, so here's how this lines up to me. If God took the rib from Adam, I just assumed that it was the rib over his heart, okay? He, took, he takes the rib from Adam and then creates the woman with it, okay? When he creates her, he brings her unto him. Not to replace it, just to protect it. Yeah. What, what, what was broken for him, or what was removed from him, is a place that you cannot fix it. All you're supposed to do is secure it. You, your job is not to secure the bag, it's to secure the babe. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Your, 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 your job is to make sure he feels protected and is protected. That's from any outside influence. I appreciate your advice, mom and dad, but this is my marriage and I'm going to make sure that I do what's best for me and my family. I appreciate you being a friend, but in this type of situation, your friendly advice don't seem like it supports the, the marriage. And so I have to put you on the outside knowing that I protect my ma- you, you, she She's put there to be the real uh, that he lost, right? And if it goes over his heart, it says that God replaced it with flesh. Mm-hmm. Okay, so he, he, here's where I'm at. It, it, at this point in time, protect my flesh. Yeah. If she's supposed that to be yours. submissive, supportive, securing, mm-hmm. then you have to protect where God makes me weak. So, so if, if there's an area of my life I have not matured to yet, don't expose me as, as, as to make me feel bad. Protect me and secure me as to be like, I know what, what you're dealing with is not okay. N- not that I'm saying it's good for you to have a habit, but I need you to know in this safe space you're protected. So I, I, I don't need you to hide it. I need you to deal with it. So, so she, she is formed from the real. Mm-hmm. And then brought unto him. Not to like cut him down. It's not her place to make that man feel bad. It's not. Your place is to protect. And then his place is to always put her in protected status. Stance? Can she support if you keep being over here at her house, over there down the street? You, you, you can't live away from home and expect support at home when you ain't never home. Sister, I, I, I want you to know that God brought her to you for her to protect and secure you. Not for you to, like, ignore it. I don't know what question that was an answer to. but um, We answered it. Yeah. Uh, next question is... Um, when, when do they leave home? Oh. Turning the home, let me see. Um, joining houses, right? So, you know, I'm like... like living together? Living together. Shacking. Shacking up. Y- y'all, y'all, y'all all right with shacking? Y'all doing the night. Y'all, y'all want to talk about shacking? Y'all want to talk about that. Boy. But when, 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 when is it okay to combine... 
I think that it has okay to, to buy a house to be young. again. That's like one of those to each its own thing. Because you know you got those people who absolutely swear by. Why do you have a hot sauce bottle? <laughs> They absolutely swear by, you know, they're Don't not living with each other till marriage. Don't you do that. And then you have those people who are like, they're comfortable with it. So they move in together. Um, it's like you said earlier, of course, you're not going, you know, 10 days. And it's like, oh, let's move in. Or, oh, here's my bank card. But I think it all has its timing for it to play out. I, I think it really is know. good to to move in with each other. When the time is right, oh, no, we're not doing that tonight now. Because, like, then you know, you know, you have to learn a person. Yeah. And even though you don't know everything or you can't know everything there is to know about a person, I think, like, it's important to, like, see what they live like. Because just by you visiting, you get, like, a glimpse, you know, like, what happens after I leave? Mm -hmm. You probably cleaned this place up because you knew I was coming over. Mm -hmm. yeah. But what does it look like? When I'm not here. Check the closet. Duh, cause, What's cause, in your closet? Because that, that's one place that, that will not lie to you. Check check their closet. If if, if if you if you hold that door and that door is fastened shut, I mean, it feel like it got the weight of the world on it, then don't. Don't. I, I take it because it's, it's full of everything. And don't, What's if, your bathroom look like what, when I'm not here? When you lift up the toilet seat, because, see, you, you folk, folk that clean, that clean know, know, <laughs> know that it's underneath that seat. Where most folk don't clean. I, I, I need to know y your home habits. Of, of can, can, you, can you keep a home? Can, can you keep a house and turn it to a home? Is this really your house? Right, right. Or is this your Airbnb? And so you, you, you can't make uh, no whole no housewife. But um, you, you can definitely make a house into a home with a wife that, that, that you can. Um the next verse is and they were both naked and his wife the man I'm sorry the man <laughs> and his wife and were not ashamed he's fighting me Eddie gonna pop you don't don't do that don't do that it's just me he tortures y'all all right What's what's that last? I, I I don't think he like y'all. What's that uh last one to you, babe? Before your phone dies and before um, and these people block me. Both naked, the man and his Yeah. So naked, it's kind of like like what I was saying earlier when like you get around somebody or you went. Stop doing that. Stop doing that. Stop biting her. Stop. It's not nice. Don't do that. You know, like, what did I ask her when I was like, have you ever been with somebody? And, you know, it's that time and, like, y'all. Come here, daddy. Like, naked. Like, can you feel comfortable around them? Or, like, are you comfortable mm. enough around them? What's wrong? You know, like, for me, I used to have. A very difficult time showing off my feet. So I don't think it was like till months within a relationship that I would like walk around without socks on. You are talking about your feet? I thought you was gonna bring up your hair. Well, no, that's a whole nother story. But, Go ahead. But yeah, so like for me, it's like you know, like naked is like something. Serious. That's why I walk around with clothes on all day. So it's like you're protecting without everybody seeing it. But it's like if somebody see you naked, are you comfortable enough mm. to be naked around them? Like I literally took it for what it is. Like they were both naked, and it's like you have to be comfortable being naked around. Mm. If not, like when you just change in front of anybody, get undressed in front of anybody. It, it, it says that they they were both naked, the man and his wife, and were not ashamed. Mm -hmm. Now that that's not to say that they had on clothes before they came here. That's to say that they 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 were not ashamed before they came here. I don't I don't know that. Yeah. 
but I know at this point in time, not when they're man and woman, but when they're man and wife, there was no shame. 